Today in this video, I am going to talk to you about one important subject in the financial planning space. How do you control things if you were to be not there in this world? How do you make sure that next of kin or your dependents are in control of every bit of information pertaining to you? This is NRI Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Khan, but investment consultant and a financial planner. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. World over, banks, insurance companies have billions of dollars of unclaimed amounts. They are flush with these funds because nobody is coming and claiming this particular amount. Why nobody is coming and claiming this particular amount? The reason is the claimants who has to come and claim this amount do not know that this money exists. They do not know so many assets exist and they have a claim over this particular money. That's the precise reason. In the recent past, one of the flights of Malaysian Airlines, MH370, met with an accident. It got lost somewhere in the middle of Pacific Ocean. Till date, no one knows why did this flight went down? How did it meet with an accident? What is the status of passengers? Nothing is known. All that people try to do is to locate the black box of this aircraft which has all the details of the flight route this aircraft took, what could have happened, the mystery of this aircraft is stored in this black box. If this black box were to be found, it will show what exactly could have gone wrong with this airline. Now, how does these two episodes correlate to today's subject? What is the relevance these two things have to your life? Now, you have done a lot of planning in your life. You have opened many of the bank accounts. You would have lent money to a lot of people. You may have to receive money from other people as well. And you could have done various assets and the documents of these Assets could have been lying in a bank locker or some place. But what if nobody knows about it? And suddenly, one day, the members of the family realize that you no more exist in this world. How will they come to know what all the things that you have done? What all the things which rightfully belong to them, they being the legal heirs? That is where the relevance comes here in the life. In your life, you also need to be maintaining a black box just like the way every flying aircraft maintains it. This black box should have all the details of your life. Let us look at what all the things that you have to put into this black box a bit in detail now. Why should you maintain a black box in your life? It's for the simple reason that all your financial affairs when you are living cannot be discussed or disclosed to a lot of people. Secrecy is very important when it comes to question of your assets, your financial dealings and everything pertaining to your life. There are things which you cannot discuss with everyone. There are things which you cannot discuss many a times with your children also. There are things that you cannot discuss with your friends. There are things which you cannot discuss with anybody else. All such things are very valuable information. Now, because you are not shared with anyone, if you were to pass out of this world, then all this information can be lost forever. The only way it can be passed on to the next generation or the legal heirs or the person to whom it is important is by maintaining your black box. That is where you need to be putting all the information of your life which is secret which should be known only when you were to be not there in this world will go into this black box. Now let us see how you can create a black box of your life. All that is required is a black colored file and a black wrapper paper. Get these two then inside this black file write down each and every piece of information which you want to pass it on to the next generation. Then 
wrap it up with a black wrapper on this. Put a label on top of it. This should be opened only if when I am not there in this world. Then put this black file in a bank locker or in a safe place where others can find it. You should also be telling about this black file to at least a few people. Who could these few people be? One person could be your spouse. The other person could be your children. The other person could be a trusted friend. The other person could be your lawyer. Anyone is fine, but at least a couple of people in your close confidant group should know about the existence of this black file and where it is kept should this information be known to them and you should have clear instruction to them that this black file should be opened and instructions have to be followed if I were to be not existing in this world. This makes certain that what all the things that you have today will remain as a secret in your presence and this will be opened only if you were to be not there in this world. When I mentioned here the black box or the black file, it's just symbolic. You can use your own color, but it's easy to recollect a black color and it symbolizes death or darkness. That is why I use the term a black file or a black box. Also, people are also familiar with the black box in the aircrafts as well. Now let us look into each and everything that you have to mention in this black box or provide details of. The first thing that you have to put is where are your bank accounts? In which all the banks you have maintained the accounts? Please mention the bank account numbers. Also mention what is your PAN card number or what is your social security number or what is your passport number. This has to be mentioned. Suppose if the account number is wrong or you have forgotten to add a few of the account numbers then what happens is if you go to that particular institution where you mention that you have maintained an account in let's say Canara Bank, that Canara Bank using your PAN card will be able to identify your accounts as well or if you give your passport number or your Aadhaar number using this it can identify all the accounts that you have maintained there. Likewise you should also mention what all the investments that you have done. You would have done investments in shares. Your DMAT account numbers can be mentioned over there. Likewise you would have invested in mutual funds. You can mention where all the mutual fund investments you have done. But luckily in case of mutual funds if you have the PAN card you can walk into any branch of any mutual fund house or you walk into the branches of CAMS or CARVI and you can check from them using this particular PAN number where all the mutual fund investments exist. So if you mention the PAN account number or a PAN card image in this particular black box your next of kin or the legal heirs can find out which all the places you have maintained your investment with respect to your DMAT account or with respect to your mutual funds. Likewise, you should also write down what are the properties that you are having. Let us say that you have purchased property in place A or place B and in some of the properties you wouldn't have paid the full amount. You would have purchased a property during the construction phase. Please write down where you have purchased the property, how much money has been put and where are the property documents stored and what are your obligation and what are your rights. All the copies of the document should also be maintained in this particular file. Like the way you write down about your assets, you should also write about your liabilities. For example, you could have taken loans from different places. You could have taken loans against the properties. The details of this loan, outstanding amount and every bit of detail that needs to be known to the next of the kin should be mentioned in this particular file. In a similar way, in this file, you should maintain or record the contact details and the names of the persons who are important to you or the persons who can give more information if something is required. Let's say that you are working in one single country and you want some information or if there is something to be verified there, you can mention 
you can contact such and such a person this is his email id and this is his telephone number if you are working in one of the offices and if there are some issues pertaining to that office whom should it be contacted likewise if you have purchased an insurance policy in some other country the policy number and where does this insurance company exists what is its contact number who is the consultant and who is the brokerage and these details can also go into this file it is very essential to put if you are working through a financial planner full details of your financial planner who is he how he can be contacted and what are his email ids and every bit of information can be put into this black file and the next of the kin can contact the financial planner and pick up threats from there you should also mention if you have done some investments with respect to your children there are many investments parents do for the sake of their children's education this belongs to children they have done it when children are small children may not know about this at all the only way children can know about it is only when you record these things and preserve this in this particular file make sure you maintain all the details in this particular file you may think that if one person passes away the other spouse will exist yes you have a point but if both parents were to be lost in an accident or in an air crash children may not have both parents don't take such chances instead of that all the details that your children should know should also go into this particular file in a similar way you would have made promises to people that you will help them with such and such a thing or without any record you have taken some hand loans from people with an intention to return to back to them at some point of time please make sure you record this otherwise you might be putting these people into problem just because you didn't exist in this world and you have not mentioned about this to anyone you can also mention about your wishes for example if both parents were to be not there who should take care of the children or what could be your wishes how certain things have to be carried out who needs to be informed who needs to be involved who should be kept out what all the things that needs to be done all the information you think the next generation of people should know you please put it in this particular file now you may have a will or you may not have a will if you have a will please mention in this file where is your will located who prepared this will and how the will can be accessed this information can also go into this particular file otherwise you have a will and nobody knows about it then the will can also be lost without proper information that possibility exists the next question that could come in your mind is when should i create this black box or black file should i create it when i am about to retire when i have crossed 45 50 years of age or when i am 65 70 years of age at what age of your life should you create this black box the answer to that question is you should create it as early as possible don't push it to the last day you can create in the beginning of your career all that is required is create it record all the information and as and when things change over a period of time maybe every year you yourself open this file and update all the things you could have closed some of the loans you could have added some assets things could have changed all the things that needs to be updated in this file you keep updating on a yearly basis but make sure that you have this black file and inform it to concerned person as i said where is this black file kept it could be your spouse it could be your children it could be a close friend it could be your lawyer or any other person whom you are very confident that can pass on this information dear viewers if you think i have added some value to you please like this video if you are yet to subscribe for this channel or if you are watching this program for the first time please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon don't forget to share this video with your near and dear ones thank you very much for watching this episode on nri money clinic and i'll be back with you with one more episode very very soon press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel